Hello everyone! It is a beautiful spring day here in South Georgia. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and I am ready to show you my makeup haul. Um, I went to the drugstore mm, like a week and a half ago. I had a bunch of CVS cash and they had coupons and I had sale stuff, so I just kind of stocked up on a few things and was able to check a bunch of stuff off of my list that um, I had been wanting for a while, but either um, didn't want to buy at the time or I couldn't find it in stock at my store. So um, I finally got a few things and I'm going to show them to you today. And I'm so excited because I really kind of lucked out and love basically everything that I got. So let's start with the, this. We'll start with the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. And this is supposed to be a dupe for the NARS Orgasm Blush, which is a little out of my preferred price range. Um, it's expensive. It's a great blush from what I hear, but I just don't really feel like spending that much money on a blush, um, especially when I know that there's a dupe for it. And so this is what it looks like. It is so pretty and peachy and there's some, a little bit of shimmer in it. Not too much shimmer. Um, I'm actually, I've got it on today with, um, with my, uh, bronzer and I actually didn't add a highlight today, but I really love it. It's beautiful. It's great for spring. The color payoff is wonderful. Um, I mean, can you see that? Mm -hmm. Probably can't see it. It's close to my skin tone, but, um, but it's, I've got a picture up on my blog with it, but it's so pretty and it just glides on your skin wonderfully. It's just kind of like butter. And so I feel like Paula Deen would really enjoy this blush. Oh gosh, I thought I broke it, but it was just the brush that comes. That's the one thing I don't like about this is um, it has this little compartment under here for the brush that comes with it and the mirror. I didn't even realize there was a mirror. Um, but the mirror and the brush, but it doesn't like lock. It doesn't, you know how this like clicks down? Well, that doesn't click, so it just kind of... I don't like that. <laughs> That's the only thing I negative I have to say about this, but the blush is beautiful. It's definitely like probably my favorite blush I have now. Um, and I'll be using this a lot in the spring and summer. The next product I got was kind of on a whim. Um, I wasn't looking for it. I just kind of happened to pass by the wet and wild section and it kind of caught my eye. I was like, hmm, what is that? And that is the wet and wild Fergie, um, center stage collection. And this is the photo op eyeshadow. This particular color is, well, this says Desert Festival. Um, this says the color is Desert Festival, but online it said a different color. So anyway, these are the colors that come with it. And I have bright blue eyes. So these kind of browns and coppers and um, orangey shades look really good um, with my eyes. They kind of make them pop. Um, I don't have it on today. I'm wearing inked and pink today, but um, these are super pigmented and the color payoff is awesome. Um, I wore these this weekend and I just loved it. I lo They blended really easily. Um, well, that finger has. Um, I mean, look how I didn't even like go over them that many times and it's already like this color and this color are amazeballs. I'm, they're just so pretty. This one has, um, gold shimmer in it. You can see that. And then, um, we've got a couple mattes in here and some, sh uh, ones with some sheen in it, but they're really pretty. I prefer matte eyeshadow. Um, I mean, I, I like some shimmer every now and then, but I prefer for everyday use to have, um, matte eyeshadows. So this is beautiful and it's just a really good product and I kind of want to go get some more colors, but this one is definitely suited towards my eye color and what looks best um, on my face. So the next product is another eye product, but this is um, something that has been talked about a lot on YouTube, um, but I'm just now getting my hands on it because I've been so in love with my um, Rocket Mascara that I was like, eh, I kind of like what I have. I don't know if I want to really purchase another one, but it was on sale. Um, and like I said, I had some CVS cash, so I did get it. It is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And this is, and I think I got it in black brown. Yeah, black brown. Um, 
I kind of wish I would have been paying a little more attention because this is not the waterproof formula. Um, I like waterproof mascaras because although they're a huge pain in the butt to take off, um, I like them because I tend to rub my eyes a lot throughout the day and, um, I have, I wear contacts. So I'm, when I'm putting drops in during the day, uh, you know, if I don't have waterproof mascara, it'll run or it'll mess up. So I always like to get waterproof mascara and just kind of deal with the pain of getting it off um, when I go to bed. But this is really wonderful, and I can see why everybody has been raving about it so much. Um, it really, really does a great job with separating your lashes, and um, it does get pretty good volume as well. I don't have, I think I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm wearing the Rocket today, but I wore this this weekend as well. Um, and I thought it was beautiful. It was natural looking. Um, it didn't look like crazy, like I'm wearing false lashes, but it separated them beautifully. Um, and I, my lashes tend to clump more than usual anyway. So I do like this. I'm a fan. I can see why everyone's been raving about it. I just wish I had gotten the waterproof formula. Next, we're going to move on to lips. And, um, a while back, I had gotten this, the Revlon Just Fit and Kissable Balm Stain in Honey, and I love this. This is, like, one of my favorite ones. It stays on for a long time, and it's really easy to apply, um, and it twists. I like that it twists instead of, I don't have to, like, sharpen it, but, um, oh, my gosh, I got it on there. Um, so I wanted to get another color, and I just, they don't have a very big selection in my CVS, so when... I was looking at it. I was almost going to go like one shade up from this. And then I decided to kind of go the opposite side of the spectrum. And I got the color romantic and this is a red and I'm, this is what I'm wearing right now. Um, I don't really wear reds a lot. Um, I don't know why I just kind of thought I could never really pull them off, but I've been kind of, you know, channeling my inner tea swizzle, my tea swizz, my tea, tea swizzle lizzle. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, weird. <laughs> um, the, anyway, so this is a really pretty red color. It's not like bright, like fire hydrant red. Um, I'm not quite that adventurous yet, but, um, I do really love this. Again, it twists up. This is the color and I am wearing it right now and I'm a fan. I think I'm going to be wearing this a lot. These are, def I, these are honestly the only, um, the just fit and kissable balm stains are the only like pencil ones. I've ever used. So if you have um, a brand that you like um, the best out of these and you try tried a couple different ones, I know like Neutrogena has one, obviously Clinique has their chubby stick. Um, let me know what your favorite is um, down in the down bar and I'm going to try to check them out because I love these and I kind of want to see what else is out there. And then I also got the, what is this? Maybelline, this is from the Maybelline um, Vivid Collection. This is in Shopping Coral, number 870. I saw, who did I see review this? I want to say it was Emily Noel. Um, she reviewed this, and I kind of was intrigued. I love corals, and especially for spring and summer. Um, I wanted to kind of dive into that, and I didn't, I knew these were from the Vivid Collection, so you would think it'd be like, oh, duh, Michelle, they're all going to be really vivid and vibrant on your lips, but I didn't quite expect it. But the more times I've worn it now, the more I'm obsessed with it. So this is the color again, Shocking Coral. And it is so, I have like eyeshadow on my hand. <laughs> um, it is so pretty and it feels really good on the lips. And I've actually been wearing this um, with my Milani lip liner in hot pink. It's H-A-U-T-E pink. They're being very nice little play on words there. Very, very nice Milani. I see what you did there. But this is gorgeous. I'll line my lips and kind of fill them in a little bit, and then I'll wear this over top and blot it a bit. Um, you don't have to blot it. I just prefer to because I'm this. the vibrance of this is a little bit outside my comfort zone right at the moment, but I'm trying to play with more colors. So um, this is definitely a great color for spring, and it's beautiful, and I love the packaging. I just think that's so pretty. And then I have been wearing a lot of dark colors on my nails recently, uh, well, not recently, but, you know, because of winter and fall. Um, so I'm kind of trying to get away from the dark colors and bring in the, the light, fun um, colors and pastels and neons for uh, for spring and summer. So I'm adding to my collection a bit, and I didn't intend – oh, my gosh, I'm getting eyeshadow legit, like, all over my hands. This is nuts. I probably should have brought it down. Anyway, um, 
I got two colors from Essie, and I got finally got my hands on mint candy apple. Um, y'all probably heard about this color. It is gorgeous. I'm actually wearing it on my nails right now. Um, sorry, my nail job. I got a little lazy with my nails. Like this hand has like cute little lines down the middle that I saw from Andy Jeff Jaffrey and thought it was the cutest thing ever, but I was like applying them with a toothpick because I don't know how she got her so perfect. And then I got lazy with this hand and just threw some gold flex on this, this one finger. <laughs> but I finally got my hand on mint candy apple and it is so pretty and perfect for spring. I love mint. I don't know anyone who doesn't love the color mint. And if you do, if you are one of those people who doesn't like the color mint, you need your head checked because it is so pretty. Um, the other color I got was Butler Please. And can I also say that when I bought this, I thought it said Butter Please. And I didn't really understand. I don't really understand it. But I was like, oh, yeah, so and so. I just got this new color. It's called Butter Please. But no, it's called Butler Please. My bad. Um, anyway, this is a really pretty, vibrant, um, like, royal blue color. And blues are really big right now for the nails for spring and summer and I love the blues obviously this room is blue my dress is blue my eyes are blue I like the color blue so this is also going to be a big I'm probably going to put this on after this chips off a little bit um and then I also just picked up for my nails I picked up the Milani gold fleck um nail polish and I haven't really, I mean I used it for this but I don't really have as much of a review on this as much as just telling you that I got it. Um, I don't really typically use a lot of glitter because everyone knows glitter is a pain in the butt to get off. So I kind of tend to steer away from it. But I thought I'd play with something fun this weekend. I was a little bored. Um, so that's really all I got uh, from the drugstore. And I really love everything. My favorite products that I bought are definitely... The Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso and the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection. Um, these are awesome. They're my favorites. I've been obsessed with them and I've been using them since I got them. And I'm not going to stop. I don't plan on stopping. I'm going to keep using them. Um, and I actually might go get some more colors of this. They also had a, oh gosh, like a, it wasn't a luminizer. It was like a shimmer. It was like a shimmer palette thing. Um, gosh, I'm not describing that very well. But anyway, I was thinking about getting that too, and I might, um, I got some more CVS cash when I bought all this stuff. I got some more coupons, so I may go back and try that. So I'll let y'all know if I do. Um, let me know if there are any, are any products that you've been dying to try from the drugstore or any that you tried recently that you were just in love with, because I'm always looking for new ideas. I keep a running list on my phone, a running wish list. I have one for like high-end products, and I have one for drugstore products. And every time I go to the drugstore, I try to like, check out and see if I can um, afford any new products and test some new things out. So I'm going to go wash my hands and thank you all for watching. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'm excited to see what you think and I will see you next time. Bye.